I didn't think I could ever forget what happened. I kept replaying it in my head. And then one day, I was like, screw this. I'm not gonna let him take my power away. So I started coming to these meetings and I felt better right away. Damn, give me a minute. Hey. How you been? Good. Didn't recognize you out of uniform. I didn't know. It happened before the job. I still come to these things. I don't know why. We're looking for Zoe Butler. Her neighbor says she hangs at this church. If it's your first time, safe. Right there. Red sweatshirt. And we're really glad you're here. Zoe Butler? Yes? Can you have a minute? Do I know you? We're from the state's attorney's office. This is about Judge Kinsey, right? It is. Well, I can't say I'm upset that he's dead, but I didn't do it. We'd love to take your word for it, but... Friday night. I was here, okay? Lots of witnesses. Look, if I was going to kill someone, it'd be Stan. The guy who raped you? That's right. Unfortunately, he left the country, and I'm not about to spend a nickel chasing that prick down. So, are you going to arrest me, or can I get a piece of babka? Help yourself. She seems to have moved on. Mm. I wonder if Kenzie's death helped. Hey. Zoe's uh, elimination prints in her rape file? They match the ones on the bullets. I've never seen this before. Look, I have 30 women who will testify that I was at a meeting when Kinsey was shot. And we have bullets with your prints on them. I don't even own a gun. So we just toss a century of forensic science. Science, right. After Stan raped me, there were doctors and psychiatrists and social workers, and they all said I imagined the whole thing. The system screwed up in your case, Zoe. It happens. But from where we're sitting, if anyone had motive, it's you. Five months for rape. The good judge knocked it down to criminal sexual abuse. Sentenced him to a year. He was released in five months. He must have been furious. I don't know why you'd possibly say that. I just went to a party, had too much to drink, asked a friend to walk me home, and blacked out. Next thing I know, I woke up in the grass in Lincoln Park with his penis in my mouth and him humping my face. He left me there with his semen all over my neck. Then, the great Kinsey, he looks down from his bench at the rest of us mere mortals and says, Zoe, I'm gonna rape you again. And that's why you killed him. Screw you. I've spent the last seven years trying to put this behind me, but it seems that rape is a gift that keeps on giving. Lucky me.